So it's the end of the year. We got something like a two days two left. Two days left. In 2018. Let's take a look back at our most carried knives. Okay. okay. Yeah, we can do that. I think we did a summertime video where we where we talked about what we'd been carrying the most at that point. Mm -hmm. um, I'd have to go back and look on it, but... Um, I forget what it was. Yeah. I kind of remember. Oh, okay. Okay. So I think we're giving it away off the bat, though. The Stedman. Yeah. Thunder Fury. And okay. my Texas Tea. Look at that. I have used this a lot. Everybody knows it. I use it in videos all the time. You know what's funny is that does get used. Both of these get yeah. used because they sit right here at the table. Listen no, to that. No blade play. No blade yeah. play. Quality control. USA made. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Frankie, you got out. Okay, so I'm Dan. Uh-huh. And I'm Betty. All right. It makes perfectly good sense. Yeah. That looks like you. This looks like me. Okay, yeah. I do all wear right. headbands all the time, so that's why I made Betty with the headband and pearls. Some memorable knives from 2018, but no, not the most carried. All right, traditionally, most carried, I will say, for us, mm -hmm. have been Spyderco. Yeah. All right, and actually that one too for you. Yeah, but I kind of back and forth between these The Delica is your original user knife. It really is. Let me take a look at this one here. Okay. It's got a little bit of a little bit of wear and tear on this one. Okay, mm -hmm. Could probably use a touch up on the sharpening. The Delica, and then my original favorite knife that kind of really uh, maybe sucked me into knives even more. Uh, yeah, it did. Was the Endura. I really loved the Wave at the time. I'm over it now, but yeah, the Endura Wave. I got this one in 2014, and that was heavily carried back yeah, then. Yeah, that is. Yeah. So Spider Co's great users. Okay. Yeah. I still default to this dragonfly a lot because of it being under the three inch well, carry. Just real quick, yeah. what did you carry today? Do you have it on you? I do have it on me here. I just, I'm, I'm just curious. I'm just curious. Joe, I'm it's right show here. That. There. Look, That's it's good. right there. That's good. Okay. Right. The meerkat. Frankie's carrying the meerkat, which look at it in comparison to the dragonfly. This we've not had the uh, the, the meerkat for that long, but I will say it is an awesome knife. <laughs> He's so sure. Look at that. The yeah. blade to handle ratio is so off on it too. <laughs> Whether you like spider coals or not, there's some people that just hate them for some weird reason. Mm -hmm. They are the best users. They really are. You can't go wrong with They're them. They're just excellent users. So yeah, that's kind of traditional. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we've got some other ones from over the years. And and we always say this too, we get picked on sometimes for, for not using our knives. It's not that we don't use them. I'm not afraid to use no, most not. of our knives. It's just that we have so many. None they, of the knives get used that much individually. Mm -mm. It's just well, okay. It'll see it'll see use once a month, Besides once every three the months. One. Right? Yeah, <laughs> the pry bar. <laughs> so, yeah, just any given knife doesn't necessarily get that much mm -hmm. use. It really doesn't. Okay. Um, but yeah, looking back, I bet you a lot of people who've watched our channel for well any length of time, certainly this like year. year into last year will know that my choice, Frankie, is mm -hmm. one that I picked on initially. You sure did. I picked on it initially. You did. Um, I, uh, we've got a review out there and I say, I like everything about it except this one big thing. Uh -huh. um, I will show you something about that though. I'll just, okay. I'll just get right into it. My Go most carried it. knife, I've carried this one, gosh, probably at least a third of the year. All right, yeah, I carry you really knife, have. carry a knife every day, probably about a third of the time. It's this. It's this one. With the serrations. I know. With the serrations. Still the factory edge. I've just been dulling it, and you know it hasn't really dulled much. Yeah. I will say, a little bit of corrosion. Yeah, there is. On that S30 that I uh -huh. picked on. I picked on the S30. You did. Yeah. Actually, you. there's a lot on that. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Oh, that, but it's... That just showed up. It comes to be right fair, off. I've, <laughs> I've worked out. <laughs> like I've done full workouts and jogs and runs uh -huh. with this knife on, so it gets sweaty. But yeah, otherwise salty. it gets salty, salty is what you mean. Otherwise, it's worn pretty well. The clip shows a little bit of scratches and stuff like that, but it's just the kind of knife that doesn't really wear that much. Mm -hmm. um, it's been excellent. Yeah, the Benchmade I, bug I'm out. I'm still surprised we haven't bought you that green one. The green one in non-serrated. Uh -huh. I agree, guys. I really don't like serrations. I got this one at an incredible deal, uh -huh. and I wasn't gonna pass it up. But yeah, serrations are not my first choice. But that's been my knife of 2018. I it just really I carry it all the time. And what's, I'll tell you what's affected that choice a lot is just that it's, especially in the summer, 
um, I've just been wearing those stupid just gym shorts all summer long, yeah. you know. Um, it just, it's a feather. Yeah, it no really weight. is. Super thin. I've even carried this a few times. Yeah, you have. Which recently. is just crazy. Yeah. But I'm like, I'm going to carry the bug it's out. It's a go to, yeah. easy choice. I love it. It's a, And it's a performer. Mm hmm. The bug out, a hundred bucks or something like that. We'll put links in when you uh, when you use our links that supports this channel directly. We appreciate it. Yes. But yeah, the bug out has has just been a proven winner for well over a year now. Um, even with that crap S thirty B steel. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah. Just kidding. It's yeah, not. It's All right, Frankie, your choice. I went back and looked at our Instagram. Yeah. When when we did this video. I went back and looked at the Instagram and what knife, it was basically... Yeah, it's no surprise. It was what knife that that had the most pictures. Yeah, it's this. That you took. The Techno 1. The Techno 1, alright? The original. Let me show them. Here it is up close, okay. Somebody pointed out that I always like to... Uh, Show off your edge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that is an aftermarket KME well, edge. You put a lot of time and effort into it. Yeah. A lot, some of these edges will take two hours if I do yeah. a reprofile, that is. Yeah. But you can see some scuffing on that handle. Frankie does use this knife. Look, I she's got the little snail trails on there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Techno 1. We've had this one for, I don't know, I guess probably a year or less. But... It's, yeah... It's, you carry this all the time. I really do. I really do. I default to that all the time. Now, I, I did get it out. Go ahead and get the Techno 2 out. Okay. Techno 2. We just got this, like last week. Yeah. Which, I mean, to a point, we'll probably go Techno together, carry. We'll probably we we did that together. once yeah. already. Yeah, I carried the one, she carried the two. You're going to want an edge on this. I haven't yes. done it yet. Mm-hmm. But yeah, this one's me. a crappy knife right now without the edge. Okay, I understand. <laughs> I understand. Now, talk to me, though. Do you think this one will be carried more so? Yeah. I do. I really do. Yeah. I think he will. will. Everything about it, it... Well, see that video. We'll probably have another video on it, too. But it's uh, smaller pretty much in every dimension except mm -hmm. handle thickness. It's slightly larger. Yeah, I probably will carry it more or at least the same. <laughs> The Meaning like enough. yeah, three times a week. <laughs> but that's been your most carried. It really has been. What do you like about it? Chode status? I do love my chodes. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Present company excluded. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Just have to. Yeah. What else has been close though? I carry the booze smoke all the time too. Have you used that one much? I, the well, other the other night you were using at, the at Christmas. Actually, it's right here. Yeah. The other night you were using the Blade HQ exclusive uh -huh. for dinner, turkey and ham. I sure was. There we go. Yeah. I love. Well, I don't this know knife. that you've used that one that much. Um, probably not too much because when I carry it at work, I don't really hmm. use it that much. I'm trying to think of what else I've carried that's um, this year that's got any real use to it. I carry my mini sheepdog quite a bit too. Have you used it much though? Um, here and there. Yeah. Not a ton. I swear she goes to one of the cheaper knives when she actually needs to well, use one. Well, I mean one. like, at work it really is like opening a box. It's not gonna show anywhere or tear. Okay. Or cutting yeah. a piece of lettuce. I mean, okay. you know, yeah. it's not yeah. much. We do use our knives, guys. Um, we're just not necessarily the type that uses them heavily, just because the nature of our just life, I guess. Well, I mean, right here we have at least 10 that we've shown. Yeah. All right, we had to get this out, too. As of lately, I've been carrying the in Best Tech engine a lot. Put it down between those two Technos. It, it really is going to fall in that same size category. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, this one we've only had for about a month. This may just kind of start to steal the show. It has been. The best tech engine. Uh, the only thing I want differently, I just like the drop point. Well, why don't you buy point. me the other okay, one? Okay, maybe we'll have to get the other one. I think yeah. you should get it for me. Yeah. Because I'm needy. But, uh, but you can see my theme. I do like the shorter, smaller knives. All right. Yeah, I'm all for this knife, the engine. See our video on this one, too. This is an awesome knife. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's one of Best Tech's probably best knives. Yes. In their line. Yeah. They got, they got some good ones, though. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, for Frankie and I, though, in 2018, it has come down to Spyderco and Benchmade. All right? They're two small brands. Maybe you, you've heard of you them. You may have heard of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's it, though. 
-hmm. Really, we have to put this one away. Yep, he hasn't been carried that much yet. Get this stuff up there. There you go. Hmm. Yeah. I think it was similar in the summertime. I think. <laughs> I kind of think it might have been yeah, the yeah. exact same outcome. It could I have been. think. I think it But seriously, was. carrying on into here a very late December. That's Their go to knives. That's it. All the time I carry this one. Yeah. All the time. Yeah, yeah. And I love using it. Mm -hmm. um, would I get the serrations again? No. <laughs> but again, if you guys saw the deal I got on this, mm -hmm. you'd have to take it too. So, yeah. yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. I think that's everything, Frankie. Maybe we'll have another, uh, maybe we'll have all the memorable knives or oh, best yeah, of that'd be a good idea. knives from 2018 mm -hmm. as Our well. Our favorites that yeah. we've gotten yeah. over the last year. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, sounds good. And then good. maybe some, yeah, just flops. Memorable type stuff. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Thanks a lot for joining us. Bye.